Good evening, skies are clear, winds are light, and boy, temperatures are falling like a rock. We're 5 to 10 degrees cooler than this time last night. And again, the light winds, uh, the main culprit here. When you get out the door tomorrow morning, I'm looking at 30s to very low 40s in and around the metro and right around freezing in the high country. And while we'll all be cold, it's that focus on the high country. Ash, Watauga, Avery, Caldwell and Burke counties under a frost advisory. Frost in the pumpkin first thing tomorrow morning and that low of 40 in Charlotte. Far from a record, but our coolest morning since mid April. Here's a look at uh, our next weather maker gathering steam in the Gulf. This is a potential tropical cyclone. It may become a tropical storm overnight or during the day on Friday. Either way, it's going to be drenching the southeast as it continues to track toward the panhandle of Florida and then through the deep south, just south and east of the Charlotte area as we go through the early morning on Sunday. With that in mind, it looks like we'll start to see the clouds thicken up by lunchtime. Showers over the Midlands at that point, moving to the Charlotte area by Saturday afternoon. Now because of that track, the heaviest rain will pass just south, but you can see a pretty good shield of rain here Saturday night. And that's going to work its way into the metro overnight Saturday night. Potential rain totals. We could be looking at an inch to an inch and a half of rain. That is very welcome news as the new up, up, drought update keeps us in severe to extreme drought. I 77 points west. Have a good night.